That's your boy BG, and it's week number eight on BG's 52-week money back challenge. It's getting real right now. I know it's only week eight, two months in. Seem like a little bit, but as you go along week by week, when Thursday, Friday come, you be like, hold up. Am I going to have that extra money to put in the bag? Sometimes you be like, I don't know. Let's see what it do. It's your boy, BG. These challenges are very hard. A lot of people look at me and be like, I can't, I can't um, do this challenge. It's a little difficult. Money is tight. Money is hard. But that's where you have to start applying your mind, find little small hustles on the side to bring the money up front and start saving. Like, I don't do these challenges to be like, look, I can do this challenge. I can save money. I just want to inspire people to get into the habit of saving money. Like, the hardest thing to do on this earth is to make money. And those with money have to keep those without money without it so they can continue to have money. You know, the poor work for the rich. But once the poor elevate themselves, the rich get a little nervous and timid. Like, hold up, we can't have this playing field even. So the, the meaning and reason why I do these little money bag challenges because I want to inspire the people who, who have hard times or difficulties saving money. I just want to give them a little push so they can get their memory muscle of saving to the side, put this money over here, weekly, daily, monthly, and you don't have to do the BG's 52 money bag challenge. You can grab your nice little Walmart bag, the gray ones, put it in the closet, every week put three, four dollars in it, and then let it, let it build up over time, and maybe a year or two, be diligent, don't dip in the bag and take it out, because that bag can be your future. You know, a lot of us have these goals and dreams of what we want to do in life, but the funds and a monetary stop us from doing it. But if you have a little couple of dollars saved up, like if you're if you're smart and you have a head on your shoulder or you're willing to learn new things, you can start a business basically from nothing. So what I'm trying to tell you is save for your future, no matter how old you are. There's people on the internet who started businesses at age 50 and retired at 52 because they put their all into it and they made a business work and they sold the business after two years of starting it. Like anything's possible when you put your mind to it and your heart to it and you're all into it. Like sometimes we have to disconnect ourselves from our friends, from our family, from our passion, our hobbies, things that stop us, obstacles from having financial gains. You know, so we have to whoop our financials into fitness. Like, I want to start saying financial fitness because we got to whip this money into shape. You know, we have to make nothing into something. And it all starts within ourselves. We got to put our best foot forward. We just have to save a little bit, you know, cut back on buying coffee. It costs about 12 cents to make a cup of coffee at home. You go to Starbucks, it's five bucks. You go to Dunkin' Donuts, it's about three fifty four dollars Little things like that you can do to curve that spending and just become more saving. Be addicted to saving and not being a consumer. Because as a people, we're consumers. We buy everything they put in front of us. Every ad we see for Pepsi, for the new iPhone, we buy this stuff like there's no tomorrow. But it hurts us to save for our future. It's like we don't believe in ourselves, but we believe in somebody else's future because we're buying the brand that they have that make their future so potent and special. So we gotta stop cheating ourselves and treat yourself. What I mean by that, start saving that money. Let's grab the money bag and let's get it going. It's your boy BG. I'm gonna make sure we get it right one thing at a time. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if, you, if you're not new to the channel, touch that like button, you know. It's your boy BG, 52 week money bag challenge, week eight, let's get it, let's get it. We got that trusty green body bag. We are gonna pull the funds out. No camera tricks over this way. This is the this is the old money right there. Set it right there. And I'm gonna grab the new money right here. Here we go. We got $20 for the challenge. And we got five, six, seven, eight for the week that it represents. So you know we're gonna put that in order like we do. Keep it in order nice and neat. Get it up in this green body bag. Seal the deal. Got it out of there. So I'm gonna dig up into something real fast, real quick. I'm gonna let you know because um a lot of people be like, I can't do the challenge, and I hate hearing that because the inside the word can't is the word can. So remember that and apply that to your life. You ever heard the expression, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense? Now when I tell you, I deal with it all from small to tall. You know, I pick pennies up off the ground. I, 
I check through the couch. If, if I get changed from the store and there's two or three pennies left over, they be like, oh, we'll put an addition. No, you won't. You're going to put that in my hand. That's my hard-earned money. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you know how frugal and how real I am about the saving and financial fitness. You know, we all, we all, we all drink a Hawaiian punch sometimes. We cheat, get our little glass of sugar. But, you know, when the container's empty, I save mine for change. A couple hundred dollars in change right there. It's one way. You like peanuts. Peanut dish. All quarters. All quarters. It's nothing but money. Nothing but money. And I got another one here. Half full. It's not a game. This financial stuff is not a game, people. We pool our money together as people. We grow, we blossom, we bloom. We get further and farther. And it starts with us. If we do what we always did, we'll get what we always got. It don't hurt to grab a friend, a close friend, or an associate who you can trust or a family member. Pull that money together. Start buying businesses. Start buying real estate. Just put that spark or either, or either have that in your mind that you want to you do something like that in life because life is getting short. Time is going by real fast. And you don't want to be one of those people in your late 50s and early 60s saying, I could have, I should have, and I would have. You don't want to do that. Apply what you have. Get what you got to get. Be serious about it. Whip that money into shape. Financial fitness. It's your boy BG. You can get off a train while it's moving, but you can't get on one. Up, 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 and away.